I know why you want to make a barbarian in D2R. It's because you want to do this. <laughs> and you want to do this. And this. Well, I've got the build for you for beginning of ladder or the start of D2R using really crappy gear that you can farm Pindle real fast. Ooh, frostburn, amazing. I call it the Husk Horker. Let's get into it. So I call this barbarian the Husk Horker. The reason is because it based it is based around the Vile Husk Sword. This Barbarian uses very inexpensive slash easy to find gear and it can kill Pindle Skin very quickly. Here's our boy Pindle who can drop some really good gear. Afterwards I'll show you which gear he can drop and, and the drop chances. But he can, he can drop just about every item in the game. And as a Barbarian who doesn't have teleport, this is uh, probably one of the guys you want to be killing as a barbarian to magic find. This guy's gear is really cheap. So let's go over it. He, I call this guy the Husk Horker. The reason, because, well, we're using the Vile Husk and because we use item find, also called uh, Horking. Item find gives us like a 40% chance to find a item off of a monster. And so you kill Pindle Skin, he drops two items, and you got a 40% chance that you can make him drop two more items. So it's very efficient. It's like you're you're doing three runs every two runs, give or take. So let's look at this sword. I put a shale in it to make us attack faster, and so it does 200% enhanced damage. These swords are going to have 150 to 200, so this is a perfect one. Uh, this is single player. I basically imported all these items, so uh, everything's like a perfect roll, but I don't even have any charms. I found this charm, and I found this charm. Like, I don't have any charms. You could have a lot more health and be a lot better off with, with gear that you actually find yourself. So I got this husk sword. Now... The amount of damage it does is actually not that much, right? With the 200% enhanced damage on this exceptional item. But look at the 800% damage it does based on level. Now this is a level 80 character, but a level 85 and level 90 character would do even more damage. Now I've sort of hacked a sword uh, to show you actually how much damage it does. So here is uh, a sword with 800% enhanced damage. So when I'm attacking an undead character, I'm doing one. The, the the weapon is 171 to 522. That's like the damage of a Breath of the Dying, uh, one-handed. So with two hands, with two hands, I'm doing like the damage of like a one-handed uh, grief or Breath of the Dying, roughly. Now let's say we upgrade this weapon. Uh, because eventually, say, we find or we trade for a pull, and we can use that pull rune and a lum and a perfect emerald, and we can upgrade this thing to a Balrog blade. Look at this. Now it is essentially as strong as, as like a Breath of the Dying. It also has the chance to cast Amplify Damage, um, although that's not even needed. So when we use an upgraded version of this sword, we kill Pindle Skin in like two or three hits with a an item that no one wants. Let's go over the gear. So we're using this item that you can find or trade for. It's very inexpensive. These gloves increase uh, damage to undead by 100 to 200%. You just want a, a decent pair of, of these Grave Palm gloves, very cheap. Here I have uh, Nagel rings. You just get any Nagel you can find, and you'll find better ones over time. Gold Wrap, very inexpensive. Ick Helmet, now I know there are Ist runes in this helmet, but uh, that's because I, I imported this, and I you can't Im uh, I, I can't import a Topaz. So this has 2% more magic find than a P Topaz, perfect Topaz Ick Helmet. Granted, it is a perfect magic find helmet roll, 40%, uh, but anyways. Get an Ick Helmet with two perfect topazes, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I am using Scalders here, 
honestly, that's just because, like I said, I can't easily import perfect topazes. You could get by just fine using a four perfect topaz gothic plate. It doesn't need to be anything special. And ick boots. You can find them, you can trade for them. Even if you didn't have these, you could get them eventually. The gear is super basic. I do have high lords on, um, but even if I didn't have high lords on, I can I can kill real easy. I'll, I'll even take it off and I'll do a run without high lords. You don't need it. Let's go over the skills. So what you're gonna do is basically pop a point into all the uh, battle cries here. We want find item. Here it's gonna give me 29% chance. 32 with battle command up. Let's just pop a couple points into there. And that's that's good enough. Each point is only giving one more. Not really worth it. Uh, from here, we want to put a few points into Hal. In fact, we're going to just max it because it's a synergy for Berserk. So we're going to max Hal. And we're going to go straight down the line. We're going to max Berserk. And then we're going to max battle orders. This is going to give us the health and the damage and attack rating from here. We just pop a point into each of these. You could put a couple more into natural resistance if you want. Just have some more resistance because we're low on resist. We don't really need the run speed. Then we're just going to put a bunch of points here into our uh, sword mastery. Now sword mastery at a certain point it's it's not really worth it to put that many p more points into it so I get it to like level level 10 uh, we have tons of attack rating already here like 4,000 attack rating um, this is more than enough and so since every point is only giving us like 5% more damage we're better off here to use our, our last 10 points to go into uh, synergy of shout that's 10% damage per point rather than 5% since we don't need the attack rating we've got everything here uh, we've got our points into find item and so we are good to just dump the rest into shout so let's do a run here so what we oh and my mercenary he's just using random random stuff I imported here's a helmet with some magic fine it's just like random stuff not even good stuff he could he could pretty much be naked honestly so uh, we're just gonna battle cry here get our health up we're gonna run in and just howl oh Mitor this is a little bit dangerous we're a little bit dangerous here so he hits kind of hard. But we howl all the guys away, so they've run away. And he's dead. Ooh, a short warbow. And we didn't find item anything successfully there. So that's basically how you do it. Uh, so we found an Arctic bow. So I've done a bunch of runs. Let me show you what I found. So I found uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Brain fart in here. Lidless. That's right. Uh, J Tendo, we found this pair of gloves, which is would be good for us if we wanted to go elsewhere and kill demons, 350% damage to demons. I found another lidless wall over here. I found a kite shield, uh, really a lot, of, a lot of crappy items, honestly. Uh, I found a bunch of Saigons, I found this necklace, uh, I found a ring. Now here... I found this uh, Medusa's Gaze. This is an elite. This is the one elite item I found. So uh, it's not a good weapon, but it's or shield, but it's pretty rare. Okay, and it is elite. So it could. Oh, also I found this. This is not amazing, but it's got a, a lot of teleport charges. So at, at the very beginning of the game, other characters like Necromancer. Summon Necromancer would like this staff and a Ravenclaw. Uh, this is not a bad find. Duriel's Shell cannot be frozen. Resistance Life, that's a decent find. Uh, but everything else is kind of crappy. Uh, we did find some Goblin Toes for the Crushing Blow. Um, 
but I did I only did 50 runs five zero runs let's uh but oh I also I also found uh, the pull rune I found a pull rune so you no know, I found a pull rune from from Pindle or one of one of his dudes and we can then use that pull rune to upgrade to a Balrog blade now we're doing a lot more damage I will put the High Lords on uh, so my damage is way higher and user war cries we're just gonna howl and my mercenary didn't even help at all cryptic axe that could have been a tomb reaver and an avenger guard let's see what we got here red health but uh, nothing good here so anyways that's that's the barb he uses really basic gear and he can magic find pindle all day long I'm going to finish the video with uh, just some clips. Oh, I found this, the Saccharin's Chance as well. I'm going to finish the video with some clips of uh, me killing Pindle just uh, to showcase the build. So, Barbarian, it's not the most popular build to start with. People are going to love you for your war cries, increasing the health. Uh, you know, no, not many people are going to have Call to Arms for a level uh, 6 to... 20 battle or battle orders depending on how much plus skill gear you have uh, but here level 25 I could very easily you know bump this up to to level 30 or higher and people are gonna love love you for essentially doubling their health so if you want to have the burden of being a barbarian probably one of the best things you can do is magic find pindle and this is some really basic gear to do so. You don't need the High Lords. You don't need High Lords. I just threw that on there. Um, but everything else is super easy to get. Just some perfect Topaz gear and some random Magic Fine rings. You just want the Gold Wrap for some attack speed. Vile Husk and Grave Palm. I have Gull Daggers on the Switch, but you don't need Gull Daggers on Switch. You could just buy some stuff from uh, Mala over here and get some plus three to war cry. Uh, do we have any war cry? Oh, there's plus two to combat skills, but you just want to find one with war cries on it, plus three to war cries. And uh, then you'd be having a level whatever find item and maybe get closer to 50% chance. So it's like, do you want a lot of magic find with 40% chance or do you want less magic find with 50% chance? Magic find is 330 and 530 with my switch. So there you go. All right, so this is a drop calculator and I just put in 300 magic find. We're gonna look at Andy, Meth, then Pindle Skin, who we really care about. And then we're gonna compare that also to uh, a random boss monster in Ancient Tunnels, which is level 85 area, which can drop essentially all the same stuff that Pindle Skin can, uh, which is like everything in the game. Uh, Pindle Skin can basically drop everything except for materials, which we really don't want. Anyways, so here we have 300 Magic Find. Just uh, if we go to zero, it does zero. If we go to 100 for uniques, 71%, and it's 100% for uh, magic items. If we do 200, is it it it's diminishing returns. If we do 300, 300, two, 250 to 350 is a pretty good number. If you start to sacrifice kill speed for magic find, then you're kind of wasting your time. So, as you see, more and more and more magic find doesn't really help that much. But anyway, so we're gonna look at Endaro here for. Uh, uniques. Now, if I recall, Endaro's got like a one in. 1500 chance to drop a Shaco. So we go down here for drop chances. There it is. And she has some other decent stuff, but probably Shaco is one of the best things she can drop. Sure, T Gods, and what else? Jalals. There's some decent decent items here, War Travs, but 
that's kind of the ceiling. There's 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 nothing really better than that. Uh, BK Soge. So if we go to Mephisto, he drops a lot more good stuff. So I, I would say don't even run Endario because uh, you could get a Stormlash from Mephisto, but and he's got Mara's here, one in 3,000. I'm not going to look for it, but he's got uh, Arachnid Mesh and some other good stuff on top of what Endaro could drop. So if you're going to kill someone, do Mephisto over Endaro. But Pindleskin has an even higher ceiling where he can start dropping items like Death's Fathom. It's very rare. Now we're looking at 1 in 40,000. Or Death's Web, 1 in 65,000. But if you compare, also, uh, let's just look real quick. Uh, Crown of Ages and Griffin's Eyes, 1 in 25,000 chance to drop. But if you compare this to the uh, a guy in Ancient Tunnels, let's look at Griffin's. Now it's 1 in 50,000, so Pindle is two times the chance to drop a good item, whereas Ancient Tunnels is half that. And Pindle Skin, super unique, he's going to drop two items, whereas uh, this random uh, invader in ancient tunnels or you know the pit or whatever place you are you're at it's essentially four times the chance because instead of the one item here at one in fifty thousand chance for a griffins for example pindle is one in twenty five thousand and he's gonna got drop two items so then you got uh, item fine on top of that as a barbarian so in terms of dropping GG items, Pindle Skin is one of your best options. You just join the game, kill him, leave, join, kill him, leave, join, kill him. So I hope that kind of explains why we might want to do uh, Pindle. But if you want to find an item like, let's go to Pindle, uh, if you want to find an item like uh, String of Ears, you're much more likely to find that from Nightmare and Dario, Skin of the Viper, Viper Magi. So, GG items, Pindle, common, decent items, maybe not Pindle. But if you're not killing Pindle, you're not going to have the chance to drop Crown of Ages, Griffin, Death Fathom, Death Web. Hope that makes sense. I hope this helps. This is a great way to magic find on Barbarian. Hope I didn't ramble too much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's about as nasty as it gets. I did have a uh, lightning cold fire enchanted before. And that was not fun because my resistances are low, but... Uh, most runs are pretty chill, pretty chill. Run away! Ugh, mana burr! A wannabe Oki? Hellspawn Skull, high level item. A ring. Mana burn's a little bit annoying. Mm. 